Hello, hello, hello there guys, and welcome to another video. Today I've got something quite special for you, because a lot of people have been requesting friend slots for me, and tips to what to build, and how you can play the raid uh, more consistently, because this raid is not the easiest one out of all of them to build. So I'm currently running only a 35.6, basically, uh, KTS build. So at one point I want to make uh, very clear is that TS is not the most important thing for this raid. So when creating a raid team, you know, I'm just going to go add and choose um, the top TS people we have that might work for you, but it's probably not going to work for you. So it's very specific. There's a lot of bleed in this. Um, when you do get a chance, when you are going through the raid, click on the enemies, have a look at their skills, have a look at which ones are killing you, turn on numbers. That might help you, but I'm going to take you through a basic setup. You should always try to have um, if you want to clear this raid successfully. So I think the best thing to do is to put a low stamina bait towards the back. And now there's a couple different setups going around right now. I'll show you some of the different ones at the moment. Because um, I do know that Synergy and Ghoul are running quite different ones to me. Um, so they're running the Witcher set. Uh, with evade and yeah with evade and pretty much anything in power with crit chance and crit damage um i think that's all right but there is a much much better version of it um i will say it's very important actually to have evolvium in both all these setups because um it makes a huge difference with the new uh, ancient jack or the new ancient jacket with you it's basically ancient right with the new um uh, mythic jacket so looking at Sin's setup as well, it doesn't have Volvium, but it has Elementarium, still fine. But what you really want is, I'm pretty sure I spoke to Angels and he changed one of his characters. I think Archangel Michael, um, if we put him up on the screen now, you'll see it's a very similar setup to me. He's got Pacunas. Now it's a great thing, um, Pacunas, because of the 4 to 4, has Barrier and Cleanse when Barrier procs. Now this paired up with um, Evolvium, um, is gonna essentially clear those bleed stacks from you. It's gonna heal you as well back up 40% chance um, to pretty much negate the actual hit if you manage to actually take a hit. It's very, very good, and I would honestly recommend this. You see, it's only tier 14, but as I said, guys, TS is not, you can run this raid with a full team of 3K TS, and it's not that, that big of a deal. Um, the most important thing is finding a bait that will actually live because if your bait can actually survive, then it all just comes down to having DPS that can kill the enemies, which is a lot easier to tick off that box than a bait that can actually survive this raid. Um, Seraph's Ascendance is um, it's non-negotiable. You're going to need something evade as much as possible. DR block, you do not want that for low stamina. Not, not useful at all. Um, essentially, the jacket has its own kind of mitigation damage, which is the 50%. And it does not interact well with block or damage reduction. So you do want evade. Um, if you're not, if you don't have evade, well, you could try and power. Could try deflect. Deflect might work as well, but evade is really uh, your best option here. Um, the mount free goes all right. Not too big of a deal, but again, I'm using a lower TS mount just to get that evade because it is so much more important getting the the high evade numbers to try to live as much as possible. Um, We'll talk about, if I close this, I'll show you my setup. We'll talk about Evolvium really quickly. Um, we are running max shields, and any increase in shields is essentially going to give you an extra hit they have to um, take. It's the new uh, Mythic body, you're going to take more than 50% of your health, and you have 50% of your max health as shield. So essentially, you have 150% health in your max shield. For this, you have 160% which means it requires four hits for you to die. And it has to get through your barrier procs and your evade procs and your pet procs, which pet, um, for this raid, you, you do want to use a defensive pet uh, if you bait. Uh, preferably one that heals and shields, but um, either or is absolutely fine. If you only have healing or if you only have a shielding pet, use one of those when you get hit. Runes or evade, um, gain SP, uh, full damage, these are not too important, you do want to try to get, again, the evade bonus here, if you don't have evade, um, do not go block, do not go DR, go deflect, go in power, go even damage increase, 
because that is going to do a lot more than blocking DR for you in this um, thing here. And increase health, you don't want that. I'm using Vend Rune, your opponent's first attack, you have 25% chance to be invaded. That's an excellent rune if you do not have um, high evade numbers. This will for sure help you on your first hits to always make sure you're evading it to avoid any damage that you could be taking. Um, so that's really, really good. Core is also a good option here. You could honestly go U as well. Your first attack, 25% in power. As a bait, you don't really need um, redirect, but you can go that as well. Absolutely fine. That, that's more optional. But one of the things you do kind of want is you do want Pacunas. If you have a guy with Witcham bait, use the guy with Witcham, but Pacunas, much, much preferable, even if it has lower TS. With the Savorvium setup and the jacket, exactly as it is, you see here, we have full invade. And you can see my evade numbers are pretty decent. So I got 60% evade. Uh, block is obviously, we, it's not that big of a deal. We, we don't really count that. But evade is where it's at. So essentially, when we're mitigating damage here, is by proccing our Pacunas when, uh, or by proccing our pet, or by proccing evade. Those are the three ways we have to escape damage from this raid. And we have a cleanse so that the bleed won't damage us and uh, take an extra hit off the box skin. So let's go here and put me in the back. Um, your tank, again, same kind of concept. Tank is probably the easiest role to fill. You just need something that can take a few hits. Um, obviously I've been using Dan, but something with Bakunas, again, the, the cleanse, you can use my same setup I have now. Instead of evade, you go block DR, um, and that's going to be really, really good as well. I'm just going to use Dan, he does the job just fine, he has to block, so he's not just relying on the evades. And the jacket actually is not needed for the tank, so you could run a standardized tank setup with Bakunas or something block and DR. That's going to work fine as well. I have tried using Dan. I've tried using my um, King Musaba. He works excellent as well. High stamina. Um, again, bait and tank do not need to deal any damage for this raid. Now, taking off the DPS, you want two DPS with offensive pets, um, and then one with a defensive pet. So in this case, um, could run Winter. He has the El Corvo setup. Um, so you want to try to match, obviously, what, what DPS is doing. So you, if he has Einar main hand, you probably want um, other DPS with also Einar. If he's using, let's look what Chuck's using. He's using Einar as well, so I can match Chuck and Winter together. Uh, let's see. What else we have? Bob is using Alcova set. So... I would probably try to use the root set. I think it's doing a lot more work in this dungeon. So I'll probably try to match um, 3 DPS and have El Corvo. He has offensive pet at the moment. So if I put him in here, um, obviously there's a stamina issue, but it's just to give you guys an example of the actual setup that you would want. You'd want him to have a bit higher stamina than what I currently have. Um, let's see if we can find. what Roasty is doing. So Roasty has El Corvo, he has Urgoth. That's really, really good. So let's put Roasty in here. So that's all the defensive out of the way. Preferably the, the defensive pet DPS, you do want him to shield your team or spread shield if that's preferable. But um, any defensive will do. Bob's running the Zordig. Let's add one more DPS. We'll change Bob actually to someone with a bit higher stamina. Let's see what other options we have. Tooth is currently running your Kovo with Zordig. The stamina is a bit too low. Lucky Charm is running the same kind of style with Urgoth. So let's put Tooth in here. It's 2 6, that's 2 5. So that's not really taking off what I want to do at the moment. Let me stop this. If I was to put this mount here, would that give me low enough stamina? I'm trying to think. Oh, cannot do this one in the dungeon. Well, guys, here's a trick I learned actually yesterday with Voodoo Doctor. So you know how I cannot equip my mount and change it in this dungeon, but I can change my gear if I want. Not a big deal. Um, I can actually just go in Armory and this is the setup I have for Raid, just hit equip. 
Okay, equip this mount. Let's see. Well, I'll just show you. This is how you can change the actual mount. So you just equip it in the armory. You should probably change your gear around that way. But let me keep this for now. We're probably going to lose this one. I don't want this to drag on too, too long. Um, I do need to change my stamina to try to be a little bit lower. But at the moment, if you are struggling with the rage, click on the familiars. See exactly what they're doing. See what's actually killing you. That's really going to help you identify where your weakness is. Um, but essentially, that is the raid setup. You're matching your DPS. You've got the really strong bait um, that can take the hits. So if your bait can survive long enough for your DPS to kill everyone, um, you're not going to have too hard of a time, and the raid will be a lot easier for you. If you have any questions, guys, do leave it down below, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.